in our reading and our writing unit, we're reading nonfiction um, books and we're writing nonfiction books. I thought today's read aloud could be a read aloud about uh, a nonfiction read aloud, which means it's teaching us something. And this one in particular is about animals. Animal Defenses, written by Deborah Sussman. Animal Defenses, written by Deborah Sussman. Our focus question, what I want you to think about as we read is, what are some ways that animals defend themselves? Words to know, blending, like when you're mixing together distracts when you're not paying attention, poison, when something's harmful to your body, predators, when um, an animal eats other animals, they are called predators. Prey is what predators eat, and venom is also like poison. Table of contents. Introduction. Claws, teeth, spikes. Animals that use venom. Animals that use poison. Camouflage. Other defenses. Conclusion. Glossary. This is called a yellow land crab. Great white shark. Sharp teeth and amazing speed make the great white shark one of the strong ocean's strongest predators. Introduction. In the wild, many animals eat other animals. These predators are always on the hunt for their next meal. Their prey, however, don't just sit around waiting to be eaten. These animals have developed many ways to defend themselves. Common house cat. House cats may be sweet pets, but they still have sharp claws for defense. Claws, teeth, spikes. Lions, tigers, and bears have sharp teeth and claws. Some smaller animals, like house cats and raccoons, also have them. Some animals have sharp spikes to keep predators away. Porcupines are covered in sharp spikes called quills. The quills are made of the same stuff as human hair and fingernails. The quills can stick in predator skin like needles. Hedgehogs also have quills. When hedgehogs are attacked, they roll up in a ball so their quills point out. This is a hedgehog. This is a porcupine. Hedgehogs' quills, on the left, protect their bodies but do not come off. Porcupine quills on the right come off easily, sticking into enemy skin. Animals that use venom. Some animals can hurt or even kill predators with a bite or a sting. These animals deliver venom to defend themselves. Some animals bite or sting using venom for defense. Honeybee, Brazilian wandering spider. Some snakes have venom. The venom in the bite of a king cobra is strong enough to kill an elephant. Bees, wasps, and some ants also have venom. All spiders have fangs, and most spiders have venom too. King cobra? Black Widow Spider. Animals that use poison. Some animals are poisonous. That means that their bodies release a dangerous substance when another animal attacks or tries to eat them. The puffer fish has poison in its skin, and some puffer fish also have spikes to keep enemies away. The poison tastes bad to other fish, and it can be deadly. A puffer fish, on the left, looks just like any other fish until it puffs out on the right side to defend itself. 
The golden poison frog is one of the most poisonous animals in the world. It is only about five centimeters or two inches long, but its skin is coated with a strong poison. This is it, golden poison frog. Venom or poison. Venom and poison are not the same thing. Poison soaks into the skin, is eaten, or is breathed in. Venom is delivered through a bite or a sting. A scorpion uses venom to defend itself, while a cuttlefish uses poison. Camouflage. Some animals defend themselves by using camouflage or blending in with the world around them. Some squid can change their skin color to hide in the water or to confuse predators. Some insects are the same color as the leaves or branches they live on. For example, the dead leaf butterfly really looks like a dead leaf when its uh, wings are closed. This is a dead leaf butterfly here. Camouflage is nature's way of hiding animal's location, movement, and identity in plain sight. Two-tone pygmy squid. Oops, sorry guys. Zebras are black and white, uh, with black and white stripes, travel in groups. Their predators have trouble seeing where one zebra ends and where another one begins. This makes it more difficult for predators such as lions to hunt zebras. Other defenses. Most predators catch live prey. So some animals defend themselves by playing dead. The opossum is famous for playing dead when it's afraid. And this is a picture of it right now. It's just faking it. If a hognose snake is attacked, it puffs up and hisses like a cobra. If it fails, it rolls onto its back and releases, releases a stinky liquid. When it does, it looks and smells dead. This is a hognose snake. Some animals, like deer, defend themselves by being faster than the predators that hunt them. Other animals defend themselves by leaving body parts behind. Many lizards lose their tail when attacked. This distracts the predator the predators and makes it easier for the lizards to run quickly. Some lizards can even crow their tails back later. See how right here it's missing the tail but then here it's already grown back. Oh sorry let's read the caption. It can take up to 60 days for a green anole's tail to grow back. Conclusion Predators and prey are both necessary in the wild. Both add to the balance of the natural world. Different types of defenses give all animals a fighting chance. A red heart beast, crawfish, arctic fox, brown bear. Glossary. Blending, becoming hard to notice because of a likeliness to one's surroundings. Kind of like camouflage. Distracts, keeps from paying full attention to something. Causes to pay attention to something else. Poison, a harmful or deadly substance that enters the body through the skin or by eat, being eaten or inhaled. Predators, animals that hunt and eat other animals to survive. Prey, animals that are hunted and eaten by predators. Venom, a harmful or deadly substance that usually enters the body through a bite or a sting. 
And that's the end of our book, Animal Defenses. Now, I want you to take a minute and go back to our focus question and talk about this with someone in your house. What are some ways that animals defend themselves? Thank you, guys. I'll see you soon.